A very good morning to one and all present here and I'm here to present my study and the credit goes uh, to Dr. Rishi Shukla because he has been doing immense work in the field of type 1 diabetes so far. And this is a 29 year complete data of type 1 diabetes and pregnancies, a retrospective study of maternal outcome in type 1, analysis of HbA1c, fetal birth weight and complication. So I'm going to begin with my limitation because this is a um, like bicenter data and it is a retrospective study and it was mostly based on the recall. So there might be some recall bias as patients keep growing and they have they could forget the fetal birth weight at the time when they had delivered. So the key elements to decrease maternal fetal and pregnancy risk in type 1 women of child bearing age are Education in preconception counseling and planning is very important. As I was just listening, like type 1 diabetic, high glycemic, uh, they are more prone for deliver high uh, birth weight babies and comprehensive uh, medical care along with genetic predispositions. Type 1 uh, mother could deliver um, the chances of uh, uh, the offspring having type 1 is 3 to 4 percent, whereas if the father is diabetic, the child will have around 6 to 8 percent of getting the type 1 diabetes. And the core objective of this study is to analyze the relationship between the HbA1c, the fetal birth weight, SMBG and complications. And we aim to continue the same and uh, this study since I said is a bicenter study and we included data from uh, North India that is Kanpur and West India is Kolkata. And thank you Dr. Amit for contributing. <laughs> And the study group is a, a type 1 diabetic female and it is a retrospective study over 26 years. So coming to the results, we included 50 type 1 diabetic females. All patients were on basal and bolus. Average duration of diabetes was 19.5 years and minimum was 5 and maximum was 44 years. 15 out of uh, 50, that's th almost 30% women had hypothyroidism. Whereas 14 out of 50 had history of miscarriage prior pregnancy, could be because of uh, uh, hyperglycemia or poor HbA1c. So the descriptive analysis of this study, the minimum age currently, that uh, that's 24 years is minimum and maximum was 62, whereas mean was 33.2 years. Duration of diabetes mean was 19.5 years. Age at marriage was 26.04, that's and HbA1c before conception was 8, that's considered as poor. And age at conception was 28.6. And the associated comorbidities with this, there were uh, almost all of the patient had hypothyroidism or neuropathy and nephropathy. So this pie uh, diagram represents 21 patients were free of uh, any of the comorbidities, whereas neuropathy, retinopathy symptoms were observed and the maximum was hypothyroidism. And this is HbA1c as per the trimester. And uh, during the first trimester, the mean was 7.4%. Second mean was 6.2%. And subsequently, is decreased. And they, over the period of time, the HbA1c improved with the trimester-wise. Plan planned pregnancy was 32%, whereas 18 were unplanned. And everybody could conceive naturally. That's the main uh, major area of concern when we deal with Taiwan especially, because once uh, anybody diagnosed with Taiwan, the first question would be, what is uh, the duration and uh, how long the child will be on insulin, then uh, their uh, family life and the pregnancies and so far. The result of fetal outcome was uh, 33 out of 50 had prenatal HbA1c and 40 had in their first trimester when the counseling was done. Blood sugar monitoring, in spite of we kept saying that, you know, they're supposed to monitor as minimum six times a day, is still few patients, you know, they continue to do at least one reading per week was observed. And the few who were very religiously doing was they could, they do, did it for six times a day. Ultrasound for fetal monitoring was done 4.5 times, whereas for the IVF patient, it was done for 12 times every month as like was done and average weight gain during pregnancy was 3.2 kgs. Since I said uh, we could not establish any um, statistical significance between the HbA1c age of conception, birth weight and uh, so far and uh, 
there is very negative uh, correlation between HbA1c and age of conception. So we need more data in this field to establish a better uh, outcome. And HbA1c and complication associated, and this is a uh, box, box diagram which clearly observes this. Maximum, because uh, type 1 considered as high risk pregnancy and 80% had undergone caesarean section, whereas 20% could deliver normally. And mean gestation was 35.7 weeks. Fetal outcome. So average birth weight was 2.6 uh, kgs, minimum was 1 and maximum was 4 kgs. 21 out of 50 uh, needed ICU stay due because of hypoglycemia and hyperbilirubinemia. And only one child was stayed for uh, around some 21 days because uh, there, might, there were some issues with the hyperbilirubinemia. All were normal except one has cerebral palsy. And regarding the follow-up, mean age of follow-up children was 7.1 years. Normal growth parameters so far, and none of them is suffering from diabetes. So just to conclude, there was no significant correlation found between HbA1c, age of conception, H, uh, and complications, and the uh, H. 30% suffered from hypothyroidism and significant association was found between HbA1c level and complication with no clear pattern observed. So here I would like to uh, focus on these points. We should come up with, cert, uh, with a you know, program called EGPP. This is my brainchild just to focus on. So we, we should have education with gynecologists, physicians, correlation better because yesterday even uh, when we, uh, the discussions were on, there were very less presence of gynecologists and Rutul had requested next time for a better, once they come to us, they come with a very poor glycemic control. So once we are, we have the peer group and we initiate from the day one, it would be better, especially once we're dealing with type one. So preconceptional checklist should be maintained and implemented in all the centers. And to best of my knowledge, thyroid function tests should be done. Thyroid function tests, uh, test or celiac and other things needs to be ruled out once we are dealing with type 1. Thank you for patient hearing.